YouTube. Today we're going to get started building this arts and crafts dresser. I made this for my daughter. And as always, if you enjoy the video, please hit that subscribe button. It's really important, especially now that Google changed its um, partnership program. They basically are saying that you need to have a thousand subscri uh, subscribers for you to monetize your video. Not that I really make any money from these videos. I think I'm up to about $1.50 a month. This is really just principal now. Uh, but uh, so if, if you do, in fact, like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, and let's get started. Okay, so we are building this dresser. It's actually called the uh, an arts and crafts dresser. This is from Mail Direct Wood Plans at woodstore.net www.woodstore.net and um, it's got a it's got a, a bunch of drawers here and it's got a door right here and some some larger drawers on the bottom and and I like this um, again I'm, I'm building this for my daughter this will be perfect for her uh, probably not going to store arts and crafts in the drawer but probably her her little bracelets and necklaces and things like that so the 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 plans um, to me plans are they're just suggestions uh, I don't I don't normally go exactly according to to plan at least not in woodworking um, on on these plans it, it calls for uh, three quarter inch birch plywood which you know is great to build with um, I'm not going to do that I'm, I've got all this wood here um, this is uh, this is all red oak I'm gonna go through the red oak it's gonna be one heavy dresser uh, let me tell you it's it's gonna be substantial so uh, the first step that we're gonna the, our first step in building this dresser is we're gonna build the carcass we're gonna build the sides and the the top I don't know if you could see this uh, from where the camera is at, but you know when when you have um, two pieces that join that are perfectly uh, milled uh, squarely, the 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 line where they meet is barely barely visible, and that's what you want. And it looks like we have a pretty good top right here, so we're gonna go with that. Okay, uh, seeing how this dresser is going to be for my daughter here, uh, I'm forcing her to help me out. This is forced child labor. So, she's going to help me glue up the sides here. Alright, let's get started. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is the last of the carcass glue up. Uh, this is the top. Uh, the sides have been glued up. I need to uh, just take a hand planer a little bit uh, to the uh, to the top here. Get rid of the uh, some of the glue um, that's dried here. Shouldn't be shouldn't be that much work. Uh, this is looking pretty good though. This is nice and straight. Um, 
It's looking really good. I'm really pleased with the way these things turned out. These are heavy. This is going to be one heavy uh, dresser, uh, which is good. Okay, so I glued up the sides, both sides and the top. Um, we planed them, sanded them, sanded them, and cut them to length. So next step, uh, we're going to be putting them together. We're going to be joining them. Uh, and for those uh, keeping score at home, the top is uh, 44 inches long by 21 inches wide, and the sides are 45 and a quarter inches high and 18 and a quarter inches wide okay okay now we're just going to go through our cut list and we're going to glue up the various pieces uh, to assemble the dresser okay so i've been busy um milling my, uh, the pieces for the dresser um, you know, I went through. I, I, I glued a I glued a side or a, I glued a side. I planed it, sanded it. How many times do you guys have to see me do that? So um, that's what I've been busy doing. I have the sides. I got the top. I got a divider. Over here, I have everything I'm going to need for my drawers. These are the small drawers. These are going to be the slats and the rails um, and the uh, material for the larger drawers. So now, now the, uh, I guess the difficult part um, is putting it all together. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, with the sides, I have to uh, put a couple of dados in, top and bottom. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet uh, for the uh, different uh, drawers uh, for the shelves. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put in a dado or a sliding uh, dovetail. I've never done a sliding dovetail. I think it looks great, um, but I'm going to I'm going to practice a little bit first, um, just to see uh, how difficult this is. Um, if it proves too difficult or I'm just too chicken to do it, because let's face it, you know I mess I mess this up. That's that's a hundred bucks I messed it up uh, right there with the side. So, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to mess up the material. Um, but, uh, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained, and I've been known to take a risk from time to time, so we'll see how it, how it turns out. Uh, okay, so, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put the dados in in the top and the bottom. Uh, part, not, not a dado, we're going to put rabbits in the top and the bottom. Okay. Really wish I had a cabinet saw times like this. This is a this is a pretty heavy piece. I wish I had a, a larger uh, table to the left of my blade. So wish me luck. Okay, uh, here's the rabbit for the side. Uh, this is either the top or the bottom. They're both the same. Um, it's 3 8 inch deep and my stock is 7 uh, pardon me, uh, 7 8 um, in thickness so uh, again 3 8 and 7 8 and here's a, a, a piece of my stock you look this is I don't think I could get this any more perfect this is great um, so yeah
Okay, everything looks pretty nice and square. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to... Oops. I just ruined that. Okay guys, I have the jig set up on the side, uh, one of the sides uh, to my dresser. I've never done this before, so wish me luck. This could be a very expensive mistake. Alright, let's do this. Okay, this is the sliding dovetail. It's, as you can see, it's thinner up top than it is down below, and it fans out like, wait for it, <laughs> a dovetail. And this goes all the way across the side of my dresser. Okay, so now we're ready to cut the corresponding cut uh, from the dovetails that we, we just cut into the sides in the center divider. Um, the problem with this, this is probably going to be one of my more awkward cuts, uh, only because this is the piece that, that we need to cut, and again, it's red oak, it's really heavy, and um, it's an end grain cut. Now, with an end grain cut, you have to be careful because as, as the piece is going through the cutter head, at the end, it has a tendency to blow out and um, what you need to do is you have to have a sacrificial piece of wood behind it so you don't get that blowout. Uh, I have, um, again, this is going to be heavy and awkward. The, the fence here is not substantial. I have here a feather board that will help me out and I'm going to use this uh, grip block. Uh, we'll see see what happens. Uh, hopefully we can, we can get it done. So let's give it Okay, uh, next step, I'm going to drill some holes for the pegs to go in on the uh, door side. We're going to have adjustable shelves and there's going to be pegs along this face and on this center divider. So we'll get, go ahead and we'll drill those now.
So the glue has dried and we're left with a solid, heavy, and square carcass for our tall uh, art dresser drawer, our arts and craft dresser drawer. Uh, so that's of course what we wanted. Um, the next step that we're going to accomplish or endeavor to accomplish is uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some rails and styles to put in uh, these corresponding dovetail grooves. Uh, it's going to hold the, uh, the drawers. Um, we're going to put one here and three more here. And we're going to use uh, mortise and tenon joinery for the uh, styles and rails. We're going to use our table saw to cut the tenons. And we're going to use a uh, mortising drill uh, to cut the mortises. So we'll get started on that now. Okay, part two is right here. All you have to do is click on it, or you may want to consider hovering over the anchor and hitting subscribe. In any event, part two is right here. Click on it and enjoy. Thanks, guys.